All right, Virgo. What is the word, y'all? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Viva. It is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time. This is you guys' bonus reading. I promise you guys a bonus reading um, because I was late doing y'all's monthlies this month in October because I went on a vacation and I just got behind. So as promised, this is your tea leaf bonus reading for the end of October and November. Let me take this away because I didn't remove that. That was from the previous reading. So let me just go ahead like so. I'm going to start off with you guys with your tea reading and then I'm going to go into tarot. So if you want to pay attention to the order in which I am recording this. So I'm doing the tea first and then tarot. So number one, there's anyone that would like to book a personal private private reading with me. Um, shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to everyone who has like, shared, clicked and subscribed to these videos at any point in time. If you would like to connect with me, only thing you need to do is click the description box or click the about tab on my YouTube uh, page. Um, it has the pricing for these tea, um, tea leaf readings. Um, in all of my readings, I do video readings on Instagram Messenger. If you do not have Instagram Messenger for the video reading, I do video readings on Google Hangouts, okay? And the only thing that we need to exchange is our email. And mine's is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Before we get into this reading, of course, let's give praise and thanks to Father God, number one. Father God, thank you so much for just bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. You already know what the word is, Father God. You already know what we're seeking. You already know what we're hoping for. Um, Father God, we're looking for happiness. We're looking for clarity and freedom. We're just looking for just the overall just abundance um, within ourselves, you know, just like waking up every day, just feeling proud of the man or the woman that we are looking in the mirror and just like, you know, wanting to hug ourselves. Like, have you ever looked in the mirror and just looked at yourself and be like, man, you are handsome, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, or you... You got it. You know what I'm saying? That just love for yourself, Father God. We just want to wake up and just be in that moment every day. We just appreciative for every single thing that you've given us in our life. You know, everything that you've taken and removed, you replaced it with things that we couldn't even imagine, Father God. So we thank you for just helping us to help ourselves to stop struggling and, you know, Stop getting in our own way, releasing stuff that is not for our betterment so we can experience the true optimum, the optimal joy that um, we're supposed to be having. So, Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Virgo. This is our bonus tea reading. Give us guidance for um, what they should have received at the end of October and what the tea is for November. So, of course, Father God, you already know we're going to get into the tea. So, give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, help me, God. So, Father God, thank you so much for using me as a vessel for the sign of Virgo. And please give us blessings. Amen. All right. So, let's see what astral house of focus y'all got going on. Okay, over there. All right. Let's see. October is... I'm going to take this one. Okay, so y'all got wealth in October, and y'all got happiness. So, okay, 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 okay. Wealth and happiness. So, October, we got financial security falling into your pockets. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, you will save it. You know what I'm saying? And in November, we see, oh, now that got me singing, I'm in orange mode. Reflecting the light of the sun. Many nights he was alone. Many, many, many nights. His light was too bright, so they turned away. And he stood alone every night and every day. Then he turned to me. He saw his reflection in me. Ooh. And he smiled at me when he turned to me. And he said to me, How good it is! How good it is! How good it is! 
how good he is. All right. So, <laughs> you got the rose right here. Okay, so there must be some romance coming in here. So, let's find out what's going on in October. We got the camel. It says preserve and you will overcome your problems. Preserve. Remember, we were saying wealth. And I was saying, I hope you're saving your money. Preserve. And you will overcome your problems. Don't be spending your money as quickly as you get it. And again, I said the rose. Romance is in the air. And let's, let's, so let's keep it 100. This isn't just about the wealth of just money flowing into your pockets. This could be the wealth of romance coming into your life so maybe it's just telling you that you need to preserve your energy you understand preserve your energy virgo and it will help you overcome your problems because there is romance in the air this october and then the bell an announcement mm, virgo what's the word joe what's the big announcement about so, I don't know. Maybe this October, you've been preserving your energy for a reason. Um, maybe you guys want romance to come into your life. There's an announcement. You guys may be finally speaking up, letting someone know how you feel. You've been preserving yourself. Maybe you've been sitting back waiting for the right moment to address a certain situation or something like that. Maybe you wanted to wait until your pockets and things were, you know, more financially sound or something like that. But uh, I'm getting two different sides. I feel like either if you were putting yourself out there waiting for wealth and the perfection of love to fall into your life, like literally finance and love um if you were doing a lot to try to achieve that preserve your energy i feel like you put a lot of positive you've put a lot of positive energy out already allow it to come to you so sit back and preserve your energy refill your tank and sit back and wait for the announcement for the people that have been waiting for their money to get right because there is romance in the air and you got your eyes on a certain someone. Um, and you you have been preserving yourself right now. Because finance could have been the problem in regards to this relationship. I feel like, you know, I want to tell you to take a, take a second, a little bit more to observe before you make an announcement. But there is romance in the air. But I'm just... Just preserve a little bit more and make sure that you have a certain sense of self and wealth before you jump yourself out there. This November, we have happiness. Y'all had me singing how good it is. I'm seeing them orange moons. Y'all know today is, I seen a big, beautiful orange moon yesterday. Today is Halloween, so it is going to be a big super moon today. The rainbow. The most difficult part of the situation is over this November. Get into the pot at the other end of the rainbow. And what is this? This is the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. An announcement and then the door. And then it says an opportunity or windfall carrots. So I'm serious, y'all. There is like something that's going to... Something is going to change, you guys. A situation, it says the most difficult part of a situation is over. Carrots. Happiness. I feel like somebody is opening up or you may be opening up to... I feel like something is opening up. Like a gateway is opening up for you to finally come through and to receive this happiness to... the. Preserve and you will overcome a problem. The difficult, mo the, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So like this is a clearing of a blockage. And you're getting to literally the how good it is. Like 
You may be falling in love all over again. You may be ready to announce that, listen, I'm ready to take a move. I'm ready to be in a relationship with you. Or someone may be announcing that to you. Um, the door is open to financial security. Carrots, to me, that diamonds, carrots. To me, that could possibly be marriage to me. You know what I'm saying? Or just an influx of resources where... You're happy because there's a lot of financial opportunities and wealth coming to you this October, which is opening up the door for romance, too. So you guys are getting a double blessing. Like, whatever hard part, whatever was difficult going on in your life, I feel like it's over. Like, blessings are coming. You got the two of swords in the reverse, and then you got the fool. So, again, mm, I do not like the Cheshire Cat in this that I do not like the Cheshire Cat at all. The Cheshire Cat, to me, is not to be trusted. The Cheshire Cat is like the devil. It's like the sneaky. It's like... Okay, so to me, this is a two of swords and an upright. So you might have been in a conflict and a battle within yourself. But you were finding it hard to make a decision. You had two different opportunities. But it's like you had your devil on one shoulder and you had the angel on another shoulder. And like the devil right there with that moon, it's like feeding you illusions and um like feeding you illusions about how something could be instead of looking at something in a reality base to get you to go to their side whereas though it's like god with the angel is like telling you like listen i'm not about to promise you that you about to have all of that because it's a lie this is the reality this is what it's going to be but this is what you want you know what i'm saying simple and less is better you know what i'm saying you don't need all of that you know what I'm saying? So I feel at one point in time, at one point in time with this being an upright, you couldn't make heads and tails of the situation because it's like you want to listen to the illusion of what the Cheshire Cat is over here telling you and stuff. But at the same time, it's like you're no fool. You're not stupid. You see what I'm saying? Like, so... One is going to the March Harris house and the other one is going to the Mad Hatter's house. And I want to tell you, I don't think that you want to take neither direction because I really do feel like this moon up here, that Cheshire cat, in which you see the cat is right here. Like the cat is looking at you like, you stupid, foolish bitch. I told you to go either in this direction or this direction. Did nobody tell you to go jump down the hole? But you had to follow your faith, your intuition. It's like, I don't trust this person. Like, I can't, I got to go with my intuition. So, like, this is you making your own moves. And you're not being confused. You're not being manipulated. You're not being misled, misguided. Nothing. It's like you going off of your faith and your intuition. You some told you to don't go there and don't take neither fucking direction. You went straight. You didn't go right or left. You went straight. You understand what I'm saying? God told you go straight. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say you did go straight. You went straight. And you jumped down a hole. And I want to say it led you to your success and wealth. And I want to say fortune or something like that. Because um, you preserved your energy. I want to say you just stopped talking and listening to just anybody. Because you can't trust the source of just any fucking body. Um, you had to garner your own success. By listening to your own wisdom. Your own inner wisdom. Like, I don't even like cats. Because a lot of y'all are saying, like, I don't even fucking like cats. So, it's like, why the fuck would I listen to a, a nasty-ass street cat? You know? It, it, I'm trying to tell you, do you see this, bitch? Do you see this? I don't... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Y'all said, I'm going to be a fool. I'm going to go my own way. And this cat is like this stupid bitch. I told her. Nope. Mm-mm. No, I'm going my own direction. So sorry about it. So sorry about it. Let's find out what's going on this November with this happiness, with these doors opening, and the most difficult part is over. Let's see what do we got here. We got the three of swords. So you're coming out of like a third party heartbreak. Something they don't even have anything to do with like a third party. Like um, they don't even have to do with necessarily 
someone being stabbed in the back um, in regards to a love. It could just be something that you have been... Okay, this could have been a situation where you could have been hung up on something or someone. And like I told you, I'm serious about you had the two swords. You had the two swords where it was like the March Hare and the Mad Hatter. So either way around it, you were about to go crazy. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was like, that's why you had to go in a completely opposite direction. Something that wasn't even discussed. Something that wasn't even talked about. Because it's like, you can't even trust the sources of these people that are telling you to go in this direction. It's like, people wanted you to involve yourself and get yourself in the middle of some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say you took your happiness back. Like, this is your thoughts back. Like, you might not even desire um, cake in the rainstorm. Like, this is cake in the rainstorm. Like, you, you are sitting up here talking to people that are making you feel like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, you could have a go to the March Hares or the Mad Hatter's house or whatever, whatever. Both of them going to have cake in the rainstorm, but it's going to be cool. And, and let me know which house you go to because if you go to the Mad Hatter's house, the March Hare is going to come there. If you go to the March Hare's house, the Mad Hatter is going to come there. We're all going to have cake in the rainstorm. All that shit sound crazy to me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like, what? Bitch, I'm about to go down there and go talk to the, to, to the rabbit. If it's about to rain, bitch, I'm about to go down there with him. What the fuck? I want to be up here with y'all. I'm going to be down in his nice little warm tunnel. He about to make me some tea. Look, we about to eat some carrots and shit. This nigga about to make me some, uh, some, ca uh, some carrot, uh, <laughs> carrot cake and shit. I want carrot cake. I don't want cake in the rain with the March Head and the Mad Hatter. It's just like a different door, a different opportunity, a different escape route came to help you kind of choose a different direction like i don't know like it, it i'm I, I don't see i really do not see um wait the march hair was no the march hair was was, was a crazy motherfucker at the tea party um the white rabbit the white rabbit i don't think that they seen the white rabbit coming you see what i'm saying because remember um, Alice got distracted by the white rabbit and jumped down the hole. Do you see what I'm saying? But she was about to go to this crazy ass fucking fiasco with the Mad Hatter in the March Hare. Because she's sitting up there listening to the Cheshire Cat. And by the graces of God, I want to say the white rabbit came and distracted Alice. And like a fool, something in her gut told her to make movements and chase after that white rabbit. And she went and jumped down the hole. And that's where wealth and happiness came. I want to say you avoided taking the wrong direction, making the wrong choice. Because you shouldn't have made neither one of those choices. God had a different door to open for you. You had to follow faith and stop listening to people that are trying to lead you in the wrong way. Do you understand? Like this kind, like I'm serious. The March Hare and the Mad Hatter. No, but they, both of them motherfuckers crazy as shit hell no anyway so virgo this has been your reading if this resonated please click the like button make sure y'all like share and subscribe i'm about to start recording your next reading i will see you over there